Hey, I'm Jim Richards. I want to talk to you about something that's going to really give you the capacity to live an incredible life. That's, that's what God wants. God wants you to have an incredible life. You know, one of the books of the Bible that is used to convince you that God's always going to hurt you, God's going to always mess, mess with you, God's going to uh, 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 let the devil attack you and all this kind of stuff is the book of Job. Well, you know, it's really interesting, the book of Job. There's so many things that we are told that obviously are really taken out of context and some of them are just really, really bad translations from the book of Job. I want, I want you to know, first of all, Job was not handed over to the devil by God. God did not betray Job. That's so important. As a matter of fact, if you want to know about Job, you can go to impactministries.com and I have got seven messages recorded already, and there's going to be a couple more, about the truth about Job. What, what really happened? What does the Bible say really happened? And what, does, what did God do to get Job out of his mess? But one of the questions is, is if, see, if Job was a blameless man, why did God let this happen? Well, you know what? That's what we do when something happens to us. Why did you let it happen? Well, we are free will beings. And really, we make our choices. And, you know, God always tries to lead us out of bad choices, but we got to choose to follow him. Job gave in to fear. And once Job gave in to fear, then everything that he did, even in his relationship to God, it wasn't done by faith. It wasn't done because he loved God. It was done because he didn't trust God. He was afraid of God. And the real truth is it means he really did not see God as he is. Now, you say, how can you know he didn't see God as he is? Because when Job repented, one of the things he said, before now, I just heard of you. But now I see you. I know you. Now I see you as you are. And you know what? That's what it takes so many times when we don't see God as he is, then we let fear take us over and we think God's going to hurt us or allow us to be hurt or do bad things to us. I got news for you. God's good. God's only good. If you want to discover more about how much God loves you, if you want to discover more, like I say, about this particular topic or the hundreds of other topics that we have for free at impactministries.com, then I want you to subscribe below. I'll pop you an email this Thursday with a link to a short message where we're going to talk about how Job ended up in the mess that he's in. But even more than that, we're going to take you to the place to understand how to get out of that mess and how that God will always get you out of the ditch that you dig and always be there to help you. So be sure to check us out at impactministries.com for all of our resources or subscribe below and I'll talk to you this Thursday.